It's Great Day Houston. From food, fun, health, family, in other words, your life. It's your morning wake-up call to everything Houston. And here's your host, Deborah Duncan. Do you find yourself running to the pharmacy every time your allergies flare up? Or worse, are you glued to an inhaler 24 hours a day? You can change your way of life by conquering your asthma and allergies naturally. Earlier, I spoke with Dr. Stephen Hotze from the Hotze Health and Wellness Center, along with his patient and success story, Heidi Christopher. Unfortunately for a lot of us living in Houston, allergies are a way of life, but they don't necessarily have to be. So Heidi, you had some real issues with allergies. Oh, I did. Um, I was taking allergy shots for a number of years. I had two asthma inhalers that I used twice daily, a nightly asthma pill and one emergency inhaler. And, you know, uh, sinus infections every six to eight weeks, yeah. um, steroids twice a year so I could breathe. Wow. Get okay, it all so in check. That's what Heidi was doing, but Dr. Hotze, a lot of us self-medicate mm -hmm. with the over-the-counter things, which can work in addressing some symptoms for a mm -hmm. short period of time, but a lot of us come to rely on them, and that's, that's not going to work. Right. The, all they do is mask the symptoms, whether it's Heidi taking prescription medications for inhalers for her asthma, which about 10% of the population have asthma, mm -hmm. um, or whether you take over-the-counter preparations. All they do is mask the symptoms of allergy. Allergy is an abnormal reaction to normal occurring substances in the environment. Things you breathe in the air, weed pollens, we're in weed pollen season right now. Yeah. Tree pollens, dust pollens, uh, I mean, uh, gr grass pollens, dust mite, mold spore, animal There's dangers. something all year round. All year round yeah. in Houston. That's why they say Houston is the allergy capital, capital of the world. Of the world. <laughs> yeah. like, and, and those cause an abnormal reaction. It causes our body to release a chemical called Histamine, which causes nasal congestion, flaring, uh, which lead to culture, uh, leads to drainage, which is a culture medium for bacteria. So you get sinus infections or bronchial infections, or causes bronchial constriction, and you get asthma. Which is why we would take antihistamines anti to again, treat the histamine yeah. that we release. So, so when we saw Heidi. Heidi had come in and she was under the care of a, of a conventional allergist and she was under, under care of an internal medicine doctor taking all these medications and she was getting no, no relief. Yeah. yeah. So all we did was simply retest her to determine at what level she was symptomatic to allergens. And finding out what she was really allergic what to. What she was correct? allergic to and at what, what level she was allergic to. And our testing either by skin or by blood does that. And we also tested for foods. And we put her, instead of on allergy shots, we mm -hmm. put you on sublingual, drops. sublingual yeah. drops under the tongue. So instead of going mm -hmm. to the doctor to get a shot once a week, you just put three drops mm -hmm. under your tongue every day. Mm -hmm. It builds up blocking antibodies and blocks the allergy What's reaction. What's in those drops? All the allergens that... All the very things you're allergic to, just like an allergy shot, uh -huh. it's the things you're allergic to. Interestingly enough, it seems strange that I'm going to give you a shot or drops of the things you're allergic to, but you do in the proper dose and it causes your body to build up a blocking antibody to block oh, allergies. help the body help itself. Right. Now, what's interesting is that how long has it been since you have had a sinus infection or had to use an inhaler? Well, at least two years for the inhaler. Wow. And that's something that you had glued to your hip before. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I was in an absolute panic without my inhalers, yeah. my emergency inhaler or both of the ones that I needed for twice a day. And as I was talking to Dr. Ellsworth at my most recent appointment, he said, well, do we need to refill this for you? Because he knew how I was about it. I just had to have it whether right. I used it or not. And I said, okay, no, I'm going to be a big girl. You can let it go. <laughs> I'm going to let go of it and I'm just going to, you know, just roll with it. He said, think about it. When's the last time you used it? And I said, at least two years, because I have exercise-induced asthma as well as allergy-induced asthma. So when you went in there, you were pretty much desperate. Did you <laughs> think something this simple sounding would really work? No, and that's not even why I went to the clinic to begin with. And uh, I, I went because I had low thyroid symptoms. Mm. And I was seeing an endocrinologist for several months, and he finally did me a big favor and told me, oh, the symptoms are all in your head. Yeah, I was told that too. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought, I need to get my hearing tested because this is, I did not hear that from you. This is not in my head. So I, I went out. Didn't he recommend you go see a therapist? Too? Yes, he did. Yeah, because I, cause I, cause I want to feel tired yes. and, and achy. I and, yeah. enjoy yeah. taking time off of work and sitting here and talking to you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but yeah, it, it just goes back to that whole thing of how, um, Dr. Hotsey, one of the things that you focus 
on in your clinic. It's what's the best way to help the body help itself mm -hmm. and heal itself and, and also doing it in natural ways like with a thyroid mm -hmm. using a, a natural uh, thyroid medication to go Rather ahead and, and boost it. Yeah. Well this is really it's important to note that once you balance the hormones and treat the allergies simultaneously mm -hmm. that's very important because I think part of her benefit she had from getting well on allergies was mm -hmm. the benefit she had from the thyroid yeah. hormone. And sometimes when your hormones are off, right. it opens the door for yeah, mm -hmm. your yeah. immune system, off. all that type of stuff. And so uh, you build that up and get that balanced and the rest of your life can be balanced. <sighs> By the way, everyone in our audience is getting your book, Hormones, Health and Happiness, uh, which explains all of this about allergies and hormones. Really good resource guide, if you will, uh, to have around the house. For more information about the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center, log mm -hmm. on to HotseyHWC.com or call 281-698-8698, 281-698-8698. You can also catch Dr. Hotsey on the radio. His program is called Health and Wellness Solutions. It airs Monday through Friday at noon on KSEV Radio, 700 AM, or listen live on the web, HotseyHWC.com. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you can breathe well in Houston now, then it must be working. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.